click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. And welcome to the engaging, compelling, intriguing, entertaining, the only view that matters because we are the only view that matters right here on YouTube.com. Look at my viewers, my fans, and my subscribers. Remember to share this video all over the entire internet, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be um, Instagram, whether it be uh, TikTok, whether it be a family, a friend, your girlfriend. Sean's Entertainment is your premier place for everything WWE. Now, what we already know is that Seth Rollins was scheduled to defend his world title at the Elimination Chamber against Raw's Bronson Reed. But as we all know, that that match was scrapped, that match was canceled, and that match is not going to happen. But however, what is going to happen is this, because ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, and we do run down the hottest rumors, news, gossip, speculation, and hearsay, and don't say I didn't warn you. And guys, remember, it's so important to become a channel member today. Here on Show and View Entertainment, where we wouldn't have any because this is the hottest ticket in town. But, ladies and gentlemen, major announcement coming out of the WWE. You want to talk about something huge, something major, something that is definitely not minor. This has been an intriguing, fun filled day. It has been a very noteworthy day in the world of WWE. But, what about another title change, another title happenstance going on in World Wrestling Entertainment? Uh, down under over there in Australia. We're going to get right into that, ladies and gentlemen. According to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, let's get right into it. We're going to get right into the report right now. Now, as we know, there was a few no-shows for the WWE Elimination Chamber, and that was for good reason. As we all know, one of those no-shows was the reigning, defending, longest reigning, running intercontinental champion of all time. Gunther was supposed to be there. Now, here's the thing. Here's what we are hearing and what is, here's what, is, what is being received online right now, guys. Oh, but before we get into that, there's actually Rikishi reveals his in-ring comeback. Rikishi returning to the WWE. Is he going to come back? Is he going to have a massive return? Is he going to wrestle? Is he going to get confrontational? There's a lot of rumors and spec. And we, yes, we are going to get into that title change, guys. Like, this just came in right now. Um, Rikishi being centered into this thing and what would you think and then Chris Jericho again I keep going back to this Chris Jericho thing because there's a lot of rumors and speculation about Chris Jericho uh, coming back to World's Wrestling Entertainment for Wrestlemania for a one night for a one off and again this would be the first time that Jericho has been in the WWE while he was an AEW wrestler it would not be the first time in history also Drew McIntyre is breaking his silence are you happy were you intrigued were you compelled and are you happy that it's going to be AJ Styles and LA Knight at Wrestlemania also guys we're going to get right into it now. Gunther was supposed to defend the Intercontinental title at the Elimination Chamber in Australia. But as we all know, he couldn't make it. He couldn't get there due to, due to you know, reasons uh, out of his hand. But uh, we, we are hearing now, had Gunther been at the WWE Elimination Chamber today, the Intercontinental Champion either would have had a confrontation or a match. And that match would have been That's cool, guys. One on one, had had Gunther actually put the title on the line, Gunther would have lost. There's rumors and speculation that Gunther would have actually lost the Intercontinental title, just like if CM Punk would have been at the Elimination Chamber, which he was scheduled. He was going to be in the match. He was going to be wrestled. It was going to be CM Punk winning the Elimination Chamber instead of Drew McIntyre, and then it would have been for the World Title Rollins versus uh, CM Punk at WrestleMania. But as we all know, that didn't happen. So now, when is Rollins versus CM Punk going to happen? Well, according to rumors, news, and headlines, it looks like we are going to get Rollins versus CM Punk at the WWE's hottest event of the year, SummerSlam. But will Rollins be the world champion by then? No, there's rumors and speculation that Gunther will be the WWE world champion by SummerSlam. That's in the cards for Gunther to become the new Raw world champion. However, at WrestleMania, listen to this. Now, I know we're a little bit all over the place, guys. This is just coming in right now. We give all news in real time. We give the, un the most unprecedented WWE news because we care about each and every one of you. That if Drew McIntyre does indeed win the world title at WrestleMania, it is going to be followed in by an emphatic cash-in by Damian Priest, where Damian Priest will walk out of WrestleMania, your brand new WWE world champion. And then Drew McIntyre and Damian Priest are going to have a feud, a rivalry over that title, where Drew McIntyre is going to seemingly 
go full heel and Damian Priest is going to go full face as he's going to be knocked out of the Judgment Day. That is future storylines, future predicaments. And that's what we're hearing, guys, that, that Damian Priest is going to go a full-fledged face of Babyface. How do you think that will, how do you think that run will go? How do you think it will progress in the WWE? Guys, it's all about your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions because remember, if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. Also, just coming through my screen right now, Sean's View Entertainment is the most up-to-date we give you the scope of everything. WWE has massive plans. According to the Triple H's announcement, Tr Tiffany Stratton is going to have a major push, a monumental push on the road to WrestleMania. Yes, you heard that right. A monumental push coming for Tiffany Stratton. And uh, she's established. She's great. And she has definitely come far in a very short amount of time in the WWE. So again, the WWE and the powers that be want to push Tiffany Stratton all the way. Also, female WWE talent has been contacted by multiple news reporters after the Vince McMahon scandal. Also, ladies and gentlemen, coming through right now. And again, there was a few scrap championship plans going into tonight's pay-per-view event. There was a few scrap things that were supposed to happen. And uh, again, guys, are you looking forward to this Logan Paul, Randy Orton feud, this match? And also, ladies and gentlemen, a huge star is setting the age limit as it concerns their retirement in the WWE. You may know him. You, you, may, you may have heard of him. John Cena sets the age limit. The limitation for his WWE in-ring career, John Cena saying that he thinks he can go till he's 50. I think I can make it to 50, but I don't think I can make it past 50. I think that at 50, if we don't plan another event, I just have to tweet, I'm out, hashtag, see ya. Everyone wants to write their last chapter, but that's beyond my control. John Cena continued. And as we all know, John Cena has just about won it all, done it all, except for the Intercontinental Championship with your thoughts, your comments, and your feedback. Also, with the Elimination Chamber happening this year and what may be for the final time, the WWE may be doing away. Guys, this is breaking news. This is huge. This is historic. The WWE could, could be tossing around the idea, putting it on the back burner of doing away with the money in the bank. As some say, it may have lost some significance and meaning over the last several years. Do you believe that to be fact? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Ladies and gentlemen, we always score on Sean View. Then we're going to sort of new heights, new levels. If it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. Prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Sean View team will always work around the clock because it weren't. If you think, if you, think you ain't seen nothing yet, you literally... Haven't seen anything yet because just when you think you know the questions, I change the answers. Subscribe.